Hey guys, this is Anthony Munda helping you ace your fitness. And before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know about an awesome YouTube series I have coming up. It's going to be called Watch Him Transform, and we're going to be covering one of my better friend's uh, weight loss journeys. So, uh, me and my buddy Kyle have kind of grown up together. We played football together, you know, went to school, uh, even went to the same college. He's still in college right now, working on his degree. Uh, but basically, he reached out to me, and, you know, I was reaching out. We were kind of texting back and forth, and I'm like, man, if, if you ever want to do this thing, like, we can definitely do it. And he's like, yeah, you know, I like, I like your videos and, uh, you know, I just, I just, I want to change. And, uh, me and him met together and we decided that, uh, you know, he's going to work with me and I'm going to work with him and we're going to try and, you know, get him started on his weight loss journey. And the awesome thing about it is I'm going to take you guys through the whole thing. So I think that's such a unique experience because mostly on social media, we just see the before and after, kind of just like mine. You know, I didn't, I didn't have the guts to uh, document myself during my journey, which I wish I would have. Uh, that's, a, that's a regret of mine. But Kyle has agreed to uh, document his, his journey. And like I mentioned, he's a pretty overweight guy, so it's, it's going to be awesome. Uh, he's looking forward to your guys' support. Uh, he's looking forward to making changes like mentally and physically. I, I believe some of the things he's told me I'm just so excited for him because I, I feel like he's had that click moment and he understands and we'll get into that I'll have him on a video. I hope to have the first episode up maybe next week, early next week for sure But what we're gonna do during the series is we're gonna be showing you know everything the good bad the ugly about the weight loss journey Like I mentioned such a unique experience because you really don't see that a lot You know you, you just see the before and after like I mentioned but we're going to be showing, you know, workouts, uh, his meal plan, his macros, uh, supplements, everything. He's going to be saying, you know, the the hard parts about the journey. And we're just going to discuss everything so that it will help everybody out there who's going through the same thing. So we can just all do this together. You guys know about I'm all about community and supporting each other. So please be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I, I literally can't wait to get started working with Kyle. And Kyle, if you're watching this, man... Hey, let's do it, man. Let's let's show the world. Let's show the world the new you, man. I'm excited. All right. So today's topic. Now I'm all fired up. <laughs> today's topic. Uh, how often should you weigh yourself, and how can you track your progress other than just the scale? So there's a lot of people out there uh, that are really against the scale, and I completely understand why. Uh, it's messed with my head in the past. I know it messes with a lot of people's heads, but. It's such a useful tool throughout your weight loss journey. Now, before you click, before you click off the video, if you're totally against the scale, please allow me to give my two cents as to why it can be a useful tool. So, generally, I recommend that um, an individual on their weight loss journey should use it every day. Now, that's a very controversial statement because uh, a lot of people will say, you know, you shouldn't focus on the scale. Focus on more like. Uh, you know, this, these other things that we're going to be talking about. And I completely agree. But if you're not going to focus on the scale at all, you know, a lot of people I've heard, you know, the, the scale doesn't measure sexy or, you know, a, it's just a number. I get it. I really do. But it's, if you don't use it, you're basically just eliminating one tool that you could have. Now, like I mentioned, there's so many other ways, other ways to uh, track your progress throughout your journey, which we'll get into. But the reason I recommend that you do it every day is because what you do is you'll take it every day and at the end of the seven days, we're looking for an average of your weight. So if the if the average weight is going down, then you're on point. You're not looking at fluctuation fluctuations in weight day to day because that can change based on your sodium intake, water intake, carbohydrate intake, the time of the day that you stepped on the scale, and uh before we start talking about anything else, when you weigh yourself, you want to do it uh, first thing in the morning at, at the same time. That's super important because if you go like two hours earlier, two hours later, the number can really jump around. You want to be wearing the same thing or not wearing anything at all. Uh, first thing in the morning, empty stomach, and right after you use the restroom. That's the most accurate, accurate number you're going to get. So... Um, like I mentioned before, I know it messes with a lot of people's head, but there's such a good reason for it. So let's say that you only weigh yourself, you know, once a week. I've, I've heard that before and I understand, you know, people have like their weekly weigh-ins. But let's say your weekly weigh-ins on a Sunday, right? So you, you measure yourself or you weighed yourself on Sunday and you're 200 pounds and you weigh yourself the next Sunday and you're 202 pounds. Now, 
and you, but you stayed on your diet throughout the whole week. So that doesn't make any sense, right? But it can happen due to water retention, uh, sodium fluctuations in sodium and changes in what you're eating throughout the whole week. So it's really not an accurate representation of your weight. But if you do it day to day, you're going to allow for those fluctu fluctuations in weight, those uh, changes in what you're eating, uh, di digestion, you know, if you're going to the bathroom, you know, that that's all going to change. So by doing it every day, you're going to allow yourself to have an average, a weekly average to be able to let yourself know, okay, should I be eating less or should I be eating more, increasing my cardio, decreasing my cardio. Now, uh, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. So if you hate the scale, let me know. Uh, what's your experiences with the scale? Is it uh, a mental thing for you? Uh, comment down below. But there are so many other ways to track your progress, like I mentioned, and these are really important. And like I said, the scale is, you know, it's, it's one tool out of so many. I, I think a lot of people get fixated on that number and I've been there myself too but you really understand we really got to understand it's only one of so many tools so another tool is and this is probably my most favorite one is measurements so at the beginning of your journey or even if you you know you're going with your journey right now try to take measurements you know I like at least waist you know uh, chest uh, maybe arms calves thighs do all those so that you have tangible measurements, literally, um, of changes in your uh, your body composition. Because most oftentimes, you know, people will fight against the scale because they say, you know, it doesn't measure, like, you know, if you're gaining muscle or anything like that. But those tangible, those tangible measurements will give you a very, uh, a, a very, you know, thing that you can... Uh, take home with you know what I mean it's just a it's a very good thing as opposed to if you're you know going with the scale or whatnot so number one measurements uh, number two how your clothes are fitting so this is probably one of my most like favorite ones and this is what you hear a lot you know you'll see people who lost a, a lot of weight try on their old clothes and be like dang like this is crazy so how you're feeling in your clothes, how, you know, are your jeans feeling tighter? Are they feeling looser? Do you feel overall more comfortable in your clothes? I mean, those are huge victories when you're able to maybe say, fit into your old clothes or, uh, you know, something that you used to wear all the time just suddenly becomes too big. I mean, those are literal tangible uh, successes that you can hang your hat on throughout your journey rather than just completely being fixated on a number. Now I will say before I get anything else, the your the number on the scale should be going down throughout your weight loss journey. I mean I know you're going to be putting on some muscle and there's going to be some changes in body composition, but you really should see a downwards trend throughout your whole journey. So uh, a lot of people say you know you know I look I look different at the same weight. I, I get it, but maybe that person isn't you know they're coming from a different place. So another uh, another way to track your progress is how confident you're feeling. You know, do you feel, do you feel like you're making progress? Are you, you know, are you proud of yourself from being able to stick to your diet, to being able to stick to your workout for a day or for a week or for several weeks? Uh, do you feel like you can talk to people more easily? Do you feel like uh, you just walk around with your chest up more? I mean, that's a huge thing because, you know, a lot of us and myself included, when I was overweight, uh, I was very very uh, low confidence you know I didn't feel comfortable talking to people you know having conversations or even walking into public places without people without feeling like people were staring at me I know a lot of people will go through the same thing um, so if you're feeling more confident if you're feeling like you know you're on the right path to uh, becoming a better you that's a huge thing another way to track your progress is uh, you know you get blood pressure at the doctors or you get maybe your insulin, your A1C measured, or your cholesterol, is changes in your health. Um, those are huge, those are literally huge because you know I'm all about you know increasing your quality of life beyond just like aesthetic changes. So if those numbers are going down or if those numbers are improving, that's something to really hang your hat on because you're literally increasing the uh, likelihood of you living longer. So that's a very important one as well. Another very underrated way to track your progress, you know, is how you're feeling in the gym. So do you feel like you can do more exercise without feeling winded? Do you feel like uh, you're getting stronger? Are you adding reps and are you able to do more exercises without feeling so fatigued? 
or even even uh, even simpler are you able to do simple tasks without getting short of breath are you able to you know walk a mile with feeling like you're okay when as before you started your weight loss journey you couldn't those are all so important so along with the scale um, like I mentioned you should probably do it every day um, if not every day if it really messes with your head maybe every other day um, but I would use use it as a tool and like I said give me your guys' thoughts on this I know it's a very controversial topic and I may have <laughs> struck some uh, struck some chords there with uh, saying you should do it every day but I believe when you actually understand the uh, the purpose of doing that and getting a weekly average, you know, it can be much more beneficial. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Um, as always, please let me know any other topics you'd like me to do. Um, I'm, I'm loving this community. I'm loving the support I'm getting from you guys. So I appreciate everything. And make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, the process is always greater than the prize.